Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about ICE profiling. It's important when you have your SDA deployment uh, to understand the policies and in case you are using profiling or logical profiles to create a specific rule, you need to be very specific, right? About the policies and which devices will get access to your network, right? Because in some cases, like the one that we are trying to recreate here, you might provide additional access to devices that you don't want. And sometimes that additional access might be used for some kind of hacking or something that might compromise your network. In this case, we have our SDA deployment, right? Or the SDA lab here. This lab is something that I've been using for a couple of months now. So um, usually when you have an access point, right? Let's focus on the access point here. The access point in this case is using VLAN 1024, right? The access point is not part of any VRF. It's part of the infra BN or I will say the global routing table, right? So you can assign the VLAN to those specific ports where the access point is connected, right? So you can configure those ports like the one that I have here, interface, you can read it in right? You will see that I push this configuration from Catalyst Center, right? During the host onboarding, you can push the configuration that you want. But what will be like the disadvantage here is that anyone can connect. For example, I can connect my laptop and I will get an IP and, and probably I will also be able to get the option 43. And based on that, I should also be able to log in the wireless controller, right? Because I will have all that information. So imagine you don't want that, right? You say, you know what, all the access points need to go through the authentication process and I should push the VLAN 1024 and then provide the access if really if an access point, right? So in this case, this is the source template, the default template. So it will go through dot one X, then the access point at least in this scenario, the scenarios that I've been seeing, they, they don't use one X, they use a Mac authentication bypass, right? So what I try to simulate here is what happens if I have a machine that can mimic an access point traffic, right? What will happen in that case? I won't mimic any real access point traffic in this lab. But what we are going to do here is to, if we check eyes, I have this specific policy, AP, that is, if it, it will use MAG authentication by pad, you have the logical profile and that's equal to my AP custom group, right? And it will push the VLAN 1024. Now, checking this specific AP custom group, I included this specific policy that is for a Cisco device, right? So I don't expect anyone to really use this specific Cisco device, right? Because you don't want to provide access to any Cisco device, right? That traffic needs to be really P traffic, right? You don't want just to say, okay, it's a Cisco device and then you can get the access, right? But for this testing, we're going to use a Kali Linux machine, right? And this also, we're going to use Scapy to try to simulate this traffic, right? As I mentioned, I have here my Python script because it's basically what Scapy really uses, but I won't generate the AP traffic because I'm still working on that. So what we're going to use here is just like a Cisco device. As I mentioned, I don't expect anyone to use Cisco device like part of your profile or your policy, right? Because you don't really want that. But we're going to use this specific Python script and let's see if we can mimic Cisco traffic. Let's see if we can get access to this lab, right? And again, this is just for testing purposes to know how you can prevent this because there are 
additional features that you can enable. So for example, when you are using Catalyst Center, you have something new that is endpoint analytics and, and that feature will analyze more the traffic and detect if the traffic is really a Cisco device, a Cisco access point, or it's a, a device that is just trying to mimic traffic from Cisco devices. So there are different solutions and that's, that's the point of this video. So let's start first. What I would like to do first is let's prepare the Python script and everything. Let's say we can generate this traffic, but first I need to connect. Uh, the Kali Linux machine, let's use port 70. Here's 16. So let me run so no I took the okay so let's check show authentication special and I do for any you know I'm thinking it's sixteen Okay, so as you can see here, I'm sending this MAC address and the device type is a Cisco device, right? So I'm using the Kali Linux machine. It's not really a Cisco device, right? And I'm sending a specific MAC address to simulate a Cisco device. So let's see if we can see something here. Okay, so this is still running. And to still dot one X, we need to wait for this to fail. So we can see if we can get access, even if this is not really a Cisco device. Okay. So after a couple of minutes, you can see here that I got the land and 24 and my Mac authentication bypass is working, right? So this looks like a Cisco device, right? So if we go. We can see here uh, on eyes that it matches the AP profile, right? And that's the reason why the policy is pushing the ECP wireless configuration, which is basically VLAN 1024. So let's go here. Let's go to the policy set. So you will see here and then you will see that it's matching these AP rule and then the custom the custom group and then the cp wireless right so now as you can see here my device passed the authentication policy i won't be able to ping that right because my network is not really up so what i'm gonna do here is let's configure this mac address the mac address that i have here b8 13 right let's configure that and let's enable this to receive and send real traffic okay and now as you can see here i have this mac address and now i received an ip and now i'm able to ping this pc that is basically in my data center. Let's check the IP. Right. So now I have full access. Let's see if I can get something like DHCP or something. Uh, let me stop this ping. What is the ping? Here? So I have this is one of six. STP. Let's see if we can renew uh, the IP, right? So we can get additional information. Let me see. That's what I want.
Okay, good. So as you can see here, I receive a new offer. So here I can see the, this is my DHCP server. So now I can get access to this IP, but also another important thing is that I have option 43, so I should be able to access my wireless controller, right? So in this video, the main purpose is to identify the policies, how important the policies are to the profiles, and you don't want to provide additional access to devices that you don't want, right? So this is what I have. Thanks for watching.